Well, people in North Korea want to see the interview. The interview that was produced by Sony that was pulled from the movie theaters and Obama actually says, why are you pulling that movie? And then Sony then released it, you know, uh, with uh, Kim Jong's exploding head at the end of the movie, which actually looks like a digital expression of it. Didn't look bloody at all. You can tell it was like a video game thing. But anyway, um, <laughs> the, the North Koreans are curious. They say, well, what's the movie about, man? We want to see it. So, And the government over there in North Korea is freaking out, man. So they're like saying, they're all kind of talking amongst each other up in North Korea. They're saying, you know, it's it's become where they're going to try to get it on a black market. And what they're going to do is they're going to charge like 10 times more for this movie than if they can get it through the border <laughs> than a normal black market movie from the USA. So, um, you know, it probably will get through. Actually, they're going to float some balloons over. Uh, and say, you know, hey, this is the movie on Kim, and Kim's over here, uh, he's not really smiling, man. Anyway, <laughs> oh my God, man. So, <laughs> you know, the Pink Harold, Pink Haired Girl Brigade over in North Korea is actually working hard on this. Uh, they're getting ready with some uh, uh, coffee mocha drinks here for the movies, and uh, they'll be showing it pretty soon. But in the meantime, North Korea actually did a real fighting word slam on uh, Obama. It says, here, I'll get you give you this story here. It was about the web outage and stuff, too. You know, it's the U.S. says we had nothing to do with that. Uh, North Korea's National Defense Commission, the country's top governing body, led by Kim, blamed Obama for the release of the interview, right? So Obama actually said, you know, hey, Sony, why are you uh, backing down? Described it as illegal, dishonest, and reactionary, blah, blah, blah. So, actually, now, this is what they said in North Korea said. Here's the fighting words. Obama goes, always goes reckless in words and deeds like a monkey in a tropical forest. Uh, North Korea, you're going to get your ass whipped. <laughs> that was a statement coming out of the official Korean Central News Agency. So, they insulted Obama. I think Obama's going to get mad. See, this is one time, uh, I don't actually... I didn't vote for Obama, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm sticking up for this guy all the way on this deal. So uh, the pink-haired girls are working underground here in uh, North Korea and getting an interview out. Um, they're going to be doing it. Actually, like I said, um, it's going to be an expensive-ass movie because it's going to be 10 times the uh, black market rate of, of American movies. So the North Koreans are actually saying, no American movies going through the borders at all. Stop all of them. Stop them all. Ah, ah, we can't have this shown here. So, I mean, you know what it is, um, you know, <laughs> it, it's almost like it's it's getting all kinds of reactional or, or re responses, like the North Korean government's going sad, and other people are smiling, and other people saying, be happy, because um, it's it's just a freaking movie, and you could tell it's just, it's a movie, it's so, it's, it's a comedy, well, I mean, you, you might say it's not funny, because, you know, you're the North Korean leader or something, but it's, it's ridiculously... It's so crazy the way that, you know, you can see actually the, the you know, the pre-release stuff. It's so crazy the way they actually shown it. You know, you can tell it's it's just, it's not reality, you know. But anyway, the North Koreans are like saying, we want the movie. We want to see the movie. So maybe they're going to see it. I don't know, man. It's going to have to go out on the black market. But, you know, the problem is when this movie gets released over there, it's actually going to really show, see what's really more dangerous about the movie than, say, Kim's head, you know, blowing up at the end it's actually showing what the regime is about and you know they're kind of worried about you know how do they control the military man the military might be saying this is bs man we're like kind of saying you know we know what you guys are about you're, you're a bunch of load of it man you guys got a racket up there on the top they're afraid of you know they're afraid of losing control it's not so much with the ending of the movie it's actually the whole message of the movie mm, that's a problem man so in the meantime, the North Koreans are going to be out there with their eat their popcorn and uh, you know staying warm. I know it's probably cold up there in North Korea now, getting in the winter time. But uh, yeah, staying warm, uh, maybe watching a movie in uh, you know some place where the authorities aren't. And uh, you know <laughs> they're going to find out. I mean, they're going to kind of find out what the rest of the world thinks about North Korea. You know, I mean, and actually, I don't want to knock North Korea, man, not at all. It's the regime. I don't understand how that regime took a hold, man. That's crazy how. That regime took a hold because, you know, you're talking about Koreans are pretty damn disciplined people. You know, they work hard and all that kind of stuff like that. Man, the average Korean could have so much more by if they just work for themselves versus, uh, you know, 
being controlled by the party. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I just want to point out that, uh, you know, this is actually a big danger to the regime. And um, it's not so much the end of the movie. It's really how the whole movie uh, portrays everything, portrays everything. And, uh, you know, maybe people won't have to be wearing military uniforms as much and stuff like that. So uh, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, but, you know, the Koreans are very, very curious now. <laughs> they want to see the movie. They want to see the movie, man. They, they're they just wondering, what the, what's up with this movie, man? What's up with this movie? Uh, why is it? Why, we, why can't we see it? You know, when you tell somebody, oh, this movie, you know, they're like, what? they made them curious, you know? <laughs> so now it's freaking them out. It's freaking out the North Korean authorities. <laughs> the fact that it was like, oh, this is dangerous. This is bad. So people go, really? Why? Do, what's bad? Let's see. Let's see what's so bad about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It kind of like backfired, you know. So anyway, they'll probably get to see it one way or the other, man. So, but like I said, I don't think the ending of the movie is what the real threat to the regime is. I think it's the whole movie. The way they're portraying, um, not North Korea, but how the regime in North Korea is brainwashing people to be so much against the West that they're an enemy. We're not an enemy. We're not an enemy of the North Korean people at all. Not in the least. If we're an enemy of the regime, who is an enemy in the regime of North Korea is an enemy of the North Korean people. And I think that's what they're afraid of seeing where that message is going to come through really loud and clear because you know i don't know north koreans can do a lot better for themselves just like everybody else in the world when you got elitist they, they put the thumb down on you so you know the deal right you know the deal so anyway just be, bring the message of uh smile peace and love and don't be sad